controversy surrounding the standard of English referees is greater than ever before. With the man behind the whistle receiving more and more criticism, I wanted to find out whether there is an underlying problem with English refereeing, or if they are wrongly criticised. I know sometimes people leave home and think, oh, we didn't win today because the referee didn't give us a penalty and blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, no, you didn't win because you didn't score enough goals. It's not about what we've done. You know, you've got to do the job right as well. You know, if you're a good footballer at the age of 16, you can go from the under 18s to the first team like that, no problems. If you're a good referee, you have to still stick at the levels. You have to go through the levels still. From a football fan point of view, I can understand why, but that's because they, they highlight the, the, the things that they get wrong not the things they get right. And, they, you know, in the game, they make a lot of decisions. If it's something like a throw-in or a free kick or a corner or a goal kick, they make a lot of right decisions. But once that tackle goes in or someone goes, oh, that's a red card, it might be a yellow, that's the talk of the game. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't be. Something I hear quite a lot is, you know, people say, oh, you know, the, you know, the referee bottled that decision that day. And you're thinking, well, he didn't because you don't get to that level by bottling decisions. He might have got it wrong, he might have seen it different, but it, I wouldn't say that they, they bottle it. But yeah they, get, yeah, they get it quite tough, I think. I mean, for me, when I was refereeing a younger level, the parents were the worst. Um, parents are always the worst, especially when the kids are young and they don't know what they're, they're, they know what they're doing, but they don't know what they're doing. Um, and they're looking at their parents, and their parents are shouting, not shouting at the children, and they're, they're concentrating on what the, what, what, what the children's doing, uh, what the parents are talking about. But yeah, I think, I think yeah. My first ever men's game, uh, off like a Sunday league part, and a tackle went in, probably a, a yellow card. And I went to do it, and some, some bloke and his dog went, that's a red card, that is. So I just thought, oh, it must be then. I sent this lad off, and everyone's gone crazy. At one point, there was like a scrappy goal mouth bit of action, and uh, I seen the ball go over the line. Now, the line in Sunday League football is like all over the shop anyway. Uh, and um, I gave the goal, and I seen it going because they all started, started celebrating anyway before I even blew my whistle. I knew it was a goal, and as I blew, the other team with this, with this annoying coach really kicked off, and he came up onto the pitch in my face. And he just went mad and I can remember my dad went over to him and went, you need to be careful, this is my son's first game, he's only just got into it, you're meant to be supporting him, you're meant to be a role model. Um, after that he quieted down and I was really nervous for my next game, but the next game went really well, so I stuck at it for a while and, and had a nice run. Well I think that you, you stay in refereeing because you enjoy the game. Um, and those that are refereeing at the B level are doing that and they're very good at it, make no mistake about it, and they're very fit. Um, I think th the negative side of it tends to come more from what we call the technical staff, that's those in the area outside, and a lot of the problems emanate from the approach that's taken by the manager and the technical staff. If, if, if they are controlled, I think the players are controlled. I think it's a poor referee that allows player power to overcome him. I think the, the art of refereeing is to make sure that you remain in control um, and by exerting your authority in such a way that uh, it engenders the respect of the players. But if players don't want to play, and there are those that don't, then the referee's no option but to take disciplinary action. Or uh, referees themselves within the game get a lot of support from the, uh, from the officials, the official them, from the FA, from the Referees Association, the professional match game. As, when you get to a certain level, they start to have supervisors and assessors. Um, and I can remember I used to go to the headquarters a fair bit and just like the Leicestershire FA and um, I'd go and they'd, they'd, they'd do like a little checkup and ask how, how's things going and that'd be as far as it went unless I emailed 
which I did because I'd like to keep in contact and let them know how it's going. Uh, Leicestershire, uh, my county FA, they organise training courses every Thursday night throughout the season. Um, senior referees take those courses, so physically they're taken. Uh, their training courses, um, you know, for technique and uh, seminars right throughout the season, so they can really learn. But having said all that, the only way you can truly learn is on the field and in a game. And that's where you get your experience and learn how to deal with things. A referee will learn to get captains uh, to work on their side uh, and then it's easy. But if players have such a mindset that they don't want to conform, then it's difficult for the referee and he's just really got to do his best. In order to help the referee, obviously I think BR is a good thing. I see right outside the door, so it's got his little you know, hitches and stuff like that, but with time, I think that would become a good thing, to be honest. I didn't see the goal anyway, uh, so I wasn't sure what happened. But then I realised, like, people going, oh, it's, it's the VAR. And I could hear people around going, this is no, this is rubbish, this is rubbish. And then uh, when the referee gave the goal, it's the first time, obviously, it had been decided. The referee gave a goal, and there's not, the feeling isn't the same as a fan. Um, to be involved, but in terms for the referee's use, I think it's great. There's a lot of people now sort of, you know, on the National League in the sort of League Two and, you know, the Select Group Two, the Championship lads, there's a lot of young people out there. And it is attractive because it is a job now. You know, it wasn't back in the days before I was born. You know, it, it wasn't a job, it was just a, a hobby. But now it's, it's a, it's a well-paid a well -paid job. You, you have to be, you do have to be an athlete to referee at that level from anything from I'll say, Conference North upwards. You, you know, you, you have to be an athlete to referee that level of football because the game's getting quicker, which means we need to be fitter. Uh, so I, I think it, you know, I think now, definitely, it, you know, it's attracting a lot young, more younger people because younger people are getting up, up them levels, to be fair. I've stuck at it for this length of time for one reason. I've enjoyed it. It's part, it's been part of my life I'm doing it now because I feel that I can use some of my experience to help younger people along. And that's the kind of help that is essential for the youngsters. Um, the, the, the game of football, like the world we live in, has changed quite dramatically. And the approach to refereeing needs to change. So I just hope that I can give my experience to somebody else and, and see and uh, take a great enjoyment for watching them get promoted. Give it a go, enjoy it. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. It's part, it's part of life, just keep sticking with it. It's one of them things where you get better at is the, more, the more you do it. It's like you, you're driving. Your first lesson, you're a bit shaky, but over time, you'll, you'll get better at it and you'll find the way you drive or what works for you or what doesn't work for you. And just stick at it that way, I think. I think enjoy it the most and smile about it. That's the main thing. <laughs>